guys, we have another great product to review. We have a Red Cat 71. <laughs> Red Cat 71. Made by William Optics. A name synonymous with great astro imaging lenses. Go ahead and unbox that very carefully, Jenda. Oh my God. Can you get it out of there? Do you need to tilt it? Uh, I can pull the bottom of the box. There are two boxes inside. Two bo very careful. A box and a box. And a box. Made in Taiwan. Stand that up. Let's take a look at that. Williams Optics Red Cat 71. And go ahead and lay that down and unzip it. Comes in this nice case. Very carefully, let me get up high. Hang on. What you got there? This is Aim like it this way. a quick start guide. Quick start guide. I see a sticker of a red cat. All right, an Allen key 2.0 millimeter. All right, and a warranty card in there. Yep. It's very professionally set up. This is a screw. Got some screws for the brackets. And All right, very gently. Ta-da. Let's take a look at this red cat. Wow. Whoa. Oh my God, that's heavy. That's very heavy. All right. Um, yeah, see if you can take the plastic off. Now, I've been um, researching for the longest time of which telescope to buy. Um, the main thing I want to do is astrophotography. And uh, after watching um, Trevor on Astro Backyards channel, he recently got a Red Cat 71. And he has taken some amazing pictures of galaxies and nebulas. So I think this would be a good telescope to start with. Um, it's not really a telescope. It's a cross between a lens and a telescope. It's, uh, they call it an astro imaging lens. Now, Jenna, if you swing the front around, we'll take a look at that red cat right there. Diagonal, there you go. Let's take a look at that red cat. All right, diffraction spikes. Now let's take this off. Okay, the lens is in there. And this one screws. And you have your, uh, what do they call it, Batnov mask. This is for um, focusing on stars, you use this to focus, get pinpoint stars, and uh, yeah. All right, let's put the cover back on. We'll take a look at the lens in a little bit, get some other shots. But uh, the screws right on, the threads are very, there we go. All right, uh, turn it sideways again, Jinda. Wow, let me bring the camera down a little bit lower. Okay, so on back of the lens, you have your dust cap, your Williams Optics dust cap, and that just screws off. Um, then you have your tilt adapter, and with the tilt adapter, you have um, a camera angle rotator, That's this right here. And you have your rotator tension knob right up here. And I can turn that. And you can rotate your camera to get the point of view you want. So we'll leave it here. We're just gonna leave it tightened for now. And up top here, you have your saddle handlebar. This is where your spotting scope's gonna go. And we do have the spotting scope here. 
Um, we are missing one piece um, that's on back order, so we can't mount this just yet. And the focusing knob right here, it's a helical focuser with two GT gearing, nice and smooth. It's an internal focuser, it's not going to make um, the lens uh, go further out or anything like that. Got a nice cat paw print right there. And on the bottom here you have your Arker Swiss Vixen plate. You have your mounting rings. And of course on the front here you have your dew shield and you have your focuser tension. So the lens itself feels super solid. Now inside the dew shield right here you have a velour lining. It's got a great feel. I like the focuser. So I consider the Red Cat 71 my first professional telescope, lens, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is something I've wanted since like fifth grade. Um, wanted to do deep space photography and um, galaxies, nebulas, and for the wide angle shots, this will fulfill that need. Uh, the lens is 350 millimeter, the focal length, and it's uh, f4.9, which is a decent fast lens. And this would really should give us some great shots. I'm excited. My background is photography and videography. Uh, I've owned a photography video business for several years and we'll see if I can carry over any uh, photo skills to uh, space photography. And so this should be the first of a couple of different scopes over the next couple of years all with a different purpose. But uh, yeah, I think I got the right one for just getting into the hobby. The Red Cat 71. Thanks guys for watching.